All right, here we go. Okay, yeah, well, hey, wait, before we go, we don't, don't just go. Oh, Hang on, oh, pause oh, here we go. We, we don't just go. We don't just go. <laughs> just go. <laughs> when do we just go? Sorry, sorry. Here we go, and the podcast starts. Well, so we thought we'd try. Wait, are we starting? Did we start? I don't want to waste your breath. Thank you. We thought we'd try watching one back and talking about it as we watch it. Yeah, just we don't something know. different. Is that going to work? This is, well, we're, we're about to find out together. Yep. If, Guys, it's great to see you. It's great to see you. <laughs> um, it's it's great. always great to get together and see you guys for the podcast. Yeah. We are um, in our new studio once again. And we're going to watch this next episode. Now, uh, this next episode isn't necessarily a special one that deserves this, but we just got... In fact, I have very little memory of this episode at all. Yeah, okay, I think we fun. just got a little... You know, we get bored and we like trying different things. We never just do the same thing. Based on the title... Frank sent Sweet D on fire. I remember him throwing a match down the well and lighting her on fire. I remember uh -huh. us doing the camera, <laughs> the, the, the news anchor Do you anchor want to know or do you want to be surprised too. as you go? Well, I, you know, I, I may not be surprised. Yeah. I, 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 this one is a, it's a big blank space. I watched it already. Oh, you did? Okay. Because I thought we were, that's what we were doing. But we're oh, doing okay. this instead. Okay, great. So, so you're so, seeing it for the second time in two days. We're seeing it for the first time in 10 years. Uh, no, because I, I did a whole rewatch like uh, maybe a year ago. Oh, okay. Like before we did the podcast. So you're, right. you, you guys are the, narcissists. You no, have sorry. The <laughs> no, no, I, I, no, no, I did. I think what I thought we were going to do is watch it ahead of time. I did Even a rewatch of the, the text that we went. No, no, no. I'm, I'm a hard worker. I do not. After, you know, if, if I'm a group text, <laughs> I know that about just you. Just don't. <laughs> if you want my if you're you want my text, I, then you I, just have to individually text me because I cannot stand a group text. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, I, I definitely. I'm good for like you. three. You don't like it, group texts? No, huh. no. Do you like five people talking at you at once? <laughs> but it's not that. It's it's it's, it's one person talking at once. One yeah. I turn the ringer mm, off though because I can't stand oh. the bling, 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 yeah, bling, that's bling, why. bling, 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 I'd like to get rid of my phone. I'd actually like to not have a phone anymore. I kind of want to get off social media yeah. and not have a phone, but I don't think I can get away with that. It's tough. That, that, you know, because I do like being able to look something up or check the weather. Yeah. Yeah, that's or tough. Or music. I like music options. Yeah. No, I like all of it. That's the problem. That's yeah. why I want to get You like the upsides. You don't like the downsides. Yeah, that's right. I'm yeah. going to go back to defending myself of why I did a rewatch. Oh, because it's all about you. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> you, you hit a nerve. Uh, well, it, one, it, you know, it's, mo it's mostly about me. Um, no, I did a rewatch in anticipation of writing season 15 of the show. Wow. I took two years off the writer's Attaboy. room. Attaboy. See, that's professional, Rob. And, I, and as a professional, I was like, you know what? I want to make sure that we're not doing more of the things where we, you know, accidentally write something in that's not consistent with the uh mm -hmm. the lore of the show and then and then we ended up doing the skating episode anyway. All right. Um <laughs> I'm with you. Um all right. Let's try this fucking rewatch idea. Already it says TVMA language and violence. Violence. I mean, violence for fuck's sake. Fuck you. Lang this is so Viol stupid. Language and violence. Just just play stuff and people want to watch it. To watch it. You're just palling around with the guys. How's anybody going to get hurt? Classic. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's pause it. Let's all right, pause, let's pause, 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 pause it. Okay, so we just watched the cold open. Mm -hmm. uh, and let's talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I want to talk more about how Charlie hates this. He just hates it. I don't hate it because we don't know what's going to happen. We have like he doesn't we trust have hundreds and work. hundreds of these of these podcast episodes. We just we're just trying shit. Uh, he just doesn't trust that it's going to work. Right? I'm not I mean, convinced that it's going to work, but I don't know. What's that the it's worst not case work. scenario? Uh, that's good. That's a good question. Um, worst case scenario is that it's kind of boring, and we have to redo it. <laughs> no, no, um, because we're going to talk about the yeah. episode anyway, and we can jump ahead. This cold open. Yeah. Oh, that's some funny shit in there. I like, thought it was uh, pretty funny. A lot of us justifying what we're about to do and why we're about to do it. Yeah, a little heavier hand than we would maybe use now, but that it's it plays. The news thing is funny, like just a little clip. Mm -hmm. News it's soccer. A, yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. It's infused with, with something that I feel like I used to I used to feel about like the actual news and reading the news, but don't and haven't for a long time. But like this whole day, idea of like yeah, like I okay. So they're smuggling like fucking shit into plutonium into Syria. Like, 
great. <laughs> what the fuck does that have to do with me? You know what I mean? Like that, just a complete like lack of uh, understanding of the, uh, you know, how the world works and I how think everything a lot is symbiotic. The butterfly effect of yeah. uh, a nation such as Syria having access to nuclear arms. Yeah, right. There's a lot of people who probably watch that clip and are like, fuck yeah, I'm with you. Like, I don't, what do I, totally. ca what do I care when something happens outside of, yeah. you know, where I live? And then there are the people who like, maybe get the satire more of that, which is like, well, this shit that happens outside of where you live can still affect where you live. But right. Right. that's the show. Uh, but those but, are the same people that want to know what Paris Hilton wore last night. You know yeah, what I mean? Where, where I'm going, by the way, I mean, back in 2007, not now. Yeah. I don't think anybody cares what she's wearing now. Or maybe they do. This, I don't know. this episode is very dated in that regard because there are Paris Hilton references and there is uh, oh. basic cable references, which is like... Uh, no, not local, local access. Local news. Local, yeah. No, there's public, still public access. access. Public access. Oh, public public access. access. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Which is, that's not still a thing, is it? Public access? So. Sure. Uh, How do you know. get it? How would you get it now? Oh, well, on cable. Yeah, on cable. cable. Yeah, all right. All right, well, should we keep going? <laughs> Charlie's on something. Charlie's on something. What happened here? He's on coffee. Was it? It was the coffee, right? Is it? Uh, is it agitation? I've been, I've been on different time zones. Um, yeah, you've been on some different time I was zones lately. In, I was in the Texas time zone, and now I'm in the, uh, What's the that, California hour, time zone. Two, two, two hour difference. Two hours. Yeah, that's enough to. Yeah, it threw me a little bit. Um, I've watched this episode already, yeah, and yeah. I don't want to have to watch it again. Yeah, uh, mm. that's part of it. I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, I see that. What else? <laughs> what else is <laughs> coffee? There's some coffee. Coffee. In there. I, I, have, I, you, have you I, eaten today? I haven't. I didn't have a proper meal. I've kind of picked at some things. That's part of it. And and then it's my spidey mean, sense of like that this isn't the best way to do one of these episodes. Mm. Um, you know, very creatively passionate. Has your spidey sense ever been wrong? No. Never? No. <laughs> 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 I mean, occasionally I let you guys... Think that think you've that, wrong. Yeah, yeah. Think, that, think I, that you were on the other yeah, side of the otherwise argument. Otherwise, I'd be unbearable. But um, no, I'm usually fucking right. Um, let's continue with this. <laughs> oh, we're gonna watch the whole. Should we talk about you the know, Don't skip the intro. Don't skip the intro. Okay. <laughs> Here we okay. are. We're going through uh, Philly. You guys ever heard this one? <laughs> oh, there we go, executive producers. And there we go. I like our title sequence. Is that yeah. the uh, train station? And is that Dairy Queen? And uh, created by Rob. There you go. I do enjoy that it's called It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and the entire title sequence is shot at night. At night. At night. Yeah, that's good. Nobody watches that shit. Oh, dude, oh, there's yeah. all sorts of oh, great yeah. stuff on public access. Bro. Oh, is there? Yeah. Well, let's see what kind of. Oh, is this dancing guy? Dancing guy. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> This guy's pretty great. <laughs> so to, to hire this guy, we just like, uh, we just, well, we just like picked an extra and we said, show us your dance moves. No, I think we had people audition. We, we might have had we, people we audition. Had a guy, we, had we, audition. Was, we had a guy in mind. Uh, there was a guy on Venice Beach. I still think he's there. Oh, oh, oh. Who dances. Ooh, had the little silver ball. Yes. And he that, that guy. That like, guy. And, he's, tiny, and he always wears the, shorts. and he basically dresses exactly like this. Yes. And he's, and he's kind super of a, tan. Yep. And kind of like a bodybuilder-ish Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type oh, totally. Guy. No, he was totally. Yeah. Was like and he, and, jacked. And, and we brought him in. I remember when Wendy was like, uh, our casting director was like, no, no, you can't. It's not going to work. Yeah, yeah he's, he's not, not well. going to be. He's not. He's unwell. He's unwell. Yeah, I remember that. So Either that I remember or, that as well. You always wonder about the guys like that, though. You're like, is he unwell or are we unwell? Because look, think about that guy's life. He's unwell. He fucking mm, think about his life. He works out. I'm thinking you know about I mean? his life. He's uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking dancing in his underwear with a silver ball for a fucking loose change in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't. He wasn't. <laughs> You don't think he is. He wasn't asking for money. No, he he had may course. have been independently wealthy. That's we don't worse. know. He 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 was never. You guys asking were for dead wrong. This is a fucking great idea, and I told you as much. <laughs> uh, this the, the no. He 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 always looked happy as shit. He he always had headphones on. He was always fucking jamming to yes. music and list and and like dancing and playing with the silver balls and fucking hanging Bro, out at the you, beach all day. All you got you gotta look happier. They don't tip, man. You gotta look happier. They I don't, don't think tip. he ever. I don't. I don't ever remember there being a hat or anything. Never. He was. Never. I think he was just experiencing life. That's what I'm saying. I, I think he was happy as hell. Yeah. Just one of those God people just him. floating on a cloud all day fucking long. Great. Good yeah. for you. Well, uh, anyway, right. we had to hire. Well, yeah, he was but, great. But, you know, the, then I think that guy, I remember that guy came in, right? Yeah. And he saw his tape and there was something upsetting about it. We were like, oh, this is kind of, 
dark. There's yes. a darkness. Whereas this guy <laughs> was darkness. very like, uh, there's a darkness too, but <laughs> <laughs> it's an enjoyable darkness. No, I love this. TV I do enjoy the fact that he's wearing he's tight a, underwear and cowboy. Boots. He's got a serious <laughs> farmer's tan as well. And we gave him little to no yeah. direction. You know, I think no, this these was moves his thing. were these were his moves. He came in with them. Yep. And, uh, <laughs> he came in with them. Let's, yeah. let's, let's watch a little. Let's more. watch more of his. Hey, get a couple upskirts, a couple nip slips. Boom, you'd be famous like that. Well, yeah, I think I'd like to avoid the nip slips and upskirts, but I think I see where you're going with this. I'll talk you into it at some point, oh. and I could be famous just by being friends with you. Absolutely. <laughs> Great, good luck with that. This what? was before the Kardashian thing really caught on. So This was back we're, when we're Kim talking... Kardashian was just friend, one of Paris Hilton's friends. Yeah. Are and they friends? Was that where they were? she pop off of that? Said. I don't know. That's she a spin off of the. She was a spin off of, of, of Paris, Paris Hilton. Hilton. Yeah, but I what phenomena. a! I mean, it's all phenomena. I mean, think about, like, there, it. It used to be sort of like you could make the joke, like, oh, this person's famous for doing nothing, but then, like, you know, jokes on you, man, because they That's have right. taken that to the stratosphere. They sure have. Yeah. Anyway, God bless. Yeah, it's, it's like, like it's like the progression. But they are. They are. They are. But they are industrialists, are they not? Big I mean, time. Yeah. Yeah, no, they're they're they they've created a, an entire business out of it, but uh, I still find it disgusting. Oh, oh, well, why? <laughs> <laughs> why? Sure, I, I don't like it. I, there is something why? annoying about being famous without having a thing. Like, do a thing, yeah. man. Like, uh, you know, but they, they are. But they now, are now some they now, are now some of them become what, 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 some of them. What they do first is they become famous, and then they do the thing. Yeah. Right. They become yeah. famous. For, it's like it's interesting. Sure. It's like a total inversion. Right. Some people do the thing and they become famous for doing whatever the thing is. And then these guys were just like, well, why don't I just be famous first? And then when I do the thing, it'll be way more successful because yeah. I'm already famous. Yeah. It's actually, by the way, it was pretty valid, brilliant. You got to yeah. give them credit. It's like, we'll just film ourselves being us, which basically is what we're, That's doing, what we're doing right, right now. now. And uh, it worked. They they became, you know, we all yeah, we I, talked about or cared about. Yeah, to be clear, I, I don't I don't have a problem with the the whole idea of becoming famous in order to create a product that then is successful because you're using your fame to do the thing. But like what I found disgusting initially when when the whole like uh, in uh, I guess it was before even that term existed probably that an influencer, right? Like the whole whole Paris Hilton thing of just like being famous for literally doing nothing, just just showing up places and being a socialite. Being a socialite, socialite you know, yeah. like I just, I just personally, I, but you know what? That's also, that's also, I think, you know, that's just a personal thing. I just, I just, I don't like that. I just don't like it. Hmm. I think it turns it a lot of people off. I don't think and, you're alone in that. I think, I think it was, you know, I think we got we got forced into it in a way, like it broke us down. We eventually just became a part of our yeah. Society or dominated our conversations. Well, we're used. Like, we're, we're much more used to it now. But I mean, back then, that whole thing was just completely really bizarre. Good. To me. I do didn't a understand thing, it. You know, just yeah. You know, don't just do a booty. Don't just have it be your. <laughs> don't booty. just be a butt. <laughs> don't just be a butt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. Look at that. Good afternoon, Philadelphia. This is Matt coming to you live from the Malvern <laughs> Retirement Home. Cool face. Hold it. Hello, Miss. What's your name? Irving Simon. Is there She's anything great. that you want to tell the world? <laughs> My grandson's birthday on Friday. No, no. Is there anything about this place that you don't like? <laughs> the blacks. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, we got to go. That, that is, is uh, that, so <laughs> fucking funny. That's a good scene. That, that actor is, so is amazing. Funny. She's oh, amazing. She's amazing. Scene. Like Would this we still make crazy. that joke? Could, yes. We, we would, right? Definitely. Yeah, so she's an old racist lady. An like, old yeah. racist lady and, that and exists. Nursing homes are full of them. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Chock full. And, and elder abuse is something that is still happening and going on. And maybe we wouldn't use the term ass rape. <laughs> maybe we would. I don't know. You know, I think and, we would. I think because what the joke is that Danny is just saying that loudly in the room. Yes. And we're like, what? Shut up! What yeah, are you doing? Yeah. You know. I love that we just walk up to someone and start filming them too, which is pretty great. Um, <laughs> okay, and, and then, this works. Yeah, this, this works so scene far. Was very this funny. works. This cool works. Now you so think far. I added the cool faces? Hold it. Hold it. In that was post? in post. I think that was in post. I do remember that was in post. Because I... you probably weren't. You were probably behind the monitors at this point. You're not whole, actually holding the camera. Yeah, I think mm, someone that's else is holding. Point. I think you're right. That's yeah, a good point. Yeah, and I think I think we were watching it, and we just we saw some little beats, some yeah, pauses. Needed and we a thought, little. Need a little zhuzh. Yeah. Cool face. Hold it. Cool face. Hold it. <laughs> uh, all right, all right here, we go. here we go. 
we figure let's get out of the sleepy nursing homes. Let's go to a place where we could run into something cool. Yeah. And Chinatown, we think, has lots of mysteries. So let's go check it out. Is what's coming up fish being traded for fish? Okay, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm excited about yeah. it. Yeah. What the hell are these yeah. guys doing? They're just trading fish for other fish is what it looks like. <laughs> Big Marine, this isn't going to lead to karate. No, I think what we got to do is find one sick guy and do a story about a new pandemic. No, no one cares oh, about well, the pandemic. Well, 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 we predicted well, pandemics. Well, well. We predicted Whoa. pandemics. Wow. A wet market. We just predicted. Is that what they call them? Wet markets? AIDS. Yeah. yeah. A wet market. Yeah, COVID. We're in a we, wet market. Where we time. predicted that there was going to be another pandemic and you guys were going to report on it before it. Yeah. We wow. called it. Do you think guys, we manifested we it. it somehow? We could, it took a long time to manifest. Yeah. Well, yeah. Viruses usually we move a little bit up. faster than that. Okay. All right. Let's just keep it going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. That I remember distinctly. What? 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 Did they pass that, the same that, fish back? Yeah, yes. Yeah, so that was not in the that's script. That's just the same. Charlie saying that yeah. was the same. That's fish. because we had hired some extras. And yeah, and they didn't know what they were doing. They, you know, they were given very minimal direction. Yeah. And these were all guys that lived on the street. Yeah, they lived in, in on this street. In that street, and we just yeah. grabbed them. We're yes. like, "Hey, you guys mind passing fish back and forth?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and we didn't do it, but somebody did and on then, our behalf and paid them fifty this, bucks a pop. And then we were just in profit because we noticed they were just passing the same fish back yes. and forth. We thought yes. it'd be funny to comment on yes. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here yeah. in Chinatown, where a large crowd has gathered for what can only be a martial arts showdown. You look scared. I'm, I'm, not, I'm sorry. I'm not just sweating. It's very, very hot. Martial arts, okay. martial arts Expo. Just, just go in. Go in. So we're hoping we for tennis. some. We're hoping for some martial arts because we're racist. Yes. And uh, <laughs> what they're doing is they're playing. Is they're playing Wii video tennis? Games Wii tennis, <laughs> yeah. which we also predicted. People watching other people play video games. Sure. So uh, you heard right. it here, guys. We've predicted almost every major event <laughs> the last fifteen years. That's right. And then this is what happens. <laughs> Touch him. I don't know what he's Trey, got. You know the Heimlich? I don't know. I'm gonna punch him in the stomach or something, dude. Okay. Oh, oh god. Oh, baby. You okay? I saved your life, bitch. Call him a bitch. Call him a bitch. I saved your life, bitch. That guy did a really good job. He did a great choking, job. I think way. he was. I think it was a stunt guy. He oh really? He was a stunt guy. guy. Yeah, because yeah, that guy fucking nailed it. Because he had like, to get he, punched, and he had a good. He spit the fucking thing yeah. out. Like, he spit the hell out. Yeah, of it was a good thing. trajectory yeah. on that thing. A weird choice to point you, at someone's face and say, "Yeah, I, I saved your life, bitch." Yes, and I would like I to like, get like back that, to that guy, uh, like because that's funny to me. Yeah, yeah. 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 calling yeah, yeah, people yeah. bitches is funny. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we can work on that. Yeah, something that we I don't know why we decided to do this, but we always kind of stuck with our our character is being a little bit behind on technology. Yeah. So yeah. like a better- The old TV. Better cameras existed. Yeah. yeah. No one was using VHS at this time, but, we, but our characters were still using their old- Yeah, camera. we had the old TV, yeah. we had the old VHS, old, old we had TV, the old, old VHS. An old, there's an old flashlight on top of it. <laughs> yeah. An old flashlight. Yeah, yeah, it's funnier. Hey, you guys remember last week when uh, Athletic Greens uh, decided to pay us a bunch of money to promote their green powder? You guys Absolutely. Remember that? Green yeah. for green. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, so I got some great news, guys. Athletic Greens has agreed to uh, advertise with us again. They've I don't come know back. Why. They've come back. All green right. for green. All and right. I'm here to tell you right now that we are endorsed by Athletic Greens. It's a great It's a great drink. Rob, you're having some right I, now. I, well, I have been. I, I was a little bit wary at first, I'll be honest with you, because I've seen you drinking this in the past. Yes. And I was like, ugh. If Glenn drinks it, you don't trust it. Exactly. If Glenn turns drinks, out it's actually good. I don't right. trust it. And yeah. it is actually good. You know, it's, it's good. You get the fast recovery. You get the mental clarity and the alertness. You know, I could use that. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like the best kind of multivitamin that you can get. And with this, you're choosing ingredients that your body can actually absorb. You got to be able to absorb it for your body to use it. Plus, I got to say, it doesn't hurt. That it's endorsed by Tim Ferriss and uh, Michael Gervais, who's an athlete. Now, the scientist in me likes that they're constantly <laughs> adjusting the recipe based on science. You know, you got to try this stuff out for yourself. We can't, you can't just take our word for it. No. Yeah. And to yeah. make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash sunny. Well, tell them where they got to go. Well, where they have to go is athleticgreens.com 
slash sunny to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Here, take this. What is this? <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> that is good glow stick dancing, yeah. man. Now, what was that song? Like, we just won in our library. It sounds like, like go, go for it, but it's not, but it's in the same. D-I-S-C-O. It's, yeah. it's playing. D-I-S-C-O. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some cheap song that we were able for. Like, because they'd never be playing this no. music. In a no, club. no, 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 no. This is what we could afford. They would be playing something that some people think sounds better, but doesn't. Now, I don't recall where this location was. Where this club was. Oh, God. Um, Somewhere near, I think, our stages, maybe? I think it was actually in West West Hollywood. West Hollywood. I think it was was a West Hollywood location. I'm not totally sure. I've never left a club with the sun up. Oh. I don't think I ever have. I have many times. I I, I just hated clubs. Yeah, I didn't really go to clubs. Well, I worked in one. So you, so I would leave. You worked at a club? Yeah. Upper West Side venue mm. was what it was called, and I would leave. You'd, you'd leave at five five thirty in the morning. Ugh, that's the worst. Yikes. God, what no, were you, you bartender, bar, bar, bar back? Barking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I never. And a couple of times, you didn't just wipe down the loads. <laughs> <laughs> there were a couple of nights where I where I, where I was one of the customers at some club in New York, and we and I was there till five six in the morning, and that is the that is the worst feeling in the world walking out. Yeah, place. I could not Gross. stand Gross. Uh, clubs, and hadn't you know back in the day when people around me and fr- my friends were like wanting to go to clubs and stuff. I hadn't quite figured out yet that like oh. The reason people are enjoying this is because they're on drugs. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I would go and I would drink and I would try to talk to people. Forget it. But you can't talk in a club. No, yeah. And I didn't want to dance because I hated dancing in clubs. So then I'd just be standing around fucking just being like, what do I do? I don't know what to do in this place. I can't have a conversation with anybody. I can't. I'm not on drugs. Like, no, the the point of it was to take the drugs to go dance and then find a partner to leave with. See, I know that now, but I, I, you know, I don't know. I wasn't hanging around with enough people that were people that were. I wasn't, I wasn't as successful as I would have liked to have been. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So I stopped. Yeah. Stop doing that. I didn't try. I was like, Fuck I've done ecstasy a few today. times though, and it's it's fun. Uh, it's great. I don't even think that that exists anymore. The kids do something else. Molly, Molly. I've never done Molly because that same my thing. time's passed. It's basically the same thing. I mean, it's it's just it's, it's like me. pure MDMA as opposed oh. to ecstasy, which is a mix of MDMA and other fucking. Now there's fentanyl and everything. So yeah, let's yeah, not. Let's like, let's, you know, let's stay away from that, kids. No, that's not a good club kids and drug. adults. Let's stay. Let's go ahead and stay away from the powders. Why well, they not putting that in everything, man? It's not, like, it's not that simple, though. Some people are getting, like, dosed. They, they think they're getting something else, and they're getting dosed with fentanyl. It's really... It's no good, man. It's really yeah. awful. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, let's just stay away from all of it. Don't do yeah. drugs, kids. All yep. right. All right. Don't do drugs. Show. Don't do drugs. Why are you taking my picture now? <laughs> you work, okay? You're not famous yet. You're just some stupid drunk chick who slept in her own puke. Well, I'll come back tonight. Let's go. Come on, rise leave. Okay. Now this was this was not too long after she had hurt her foot, broke her foot or something, right? This season she broke. I, I think she had just come out of the booth. Back. She broke her back in season three. Yeah. This was season three. Yep. 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 So Did that would break the, her foot. She also broke, she her, also broke foot her foot in season three. Yeah. She broke <laughs> both her foot. Yeah. So and her back. I, as I recall, uh, she was able to slip out of the boot just long enough to shoot these scenes but like mm. you notice oh, she, yeah. she barely walks in this season oh so we've got her standing in the right. line and then we've got her just lying down right. and then we have her getting up but no, we don't ever see her walking into that trash though that's because she's a pro maniac and then she comes she out of dances. a building on fire and stuff well uh i i am noticing that something that i feel like we haven't been doing is we're sticking with characters for a couple beats mm-hmm. instead of just popping back and forth from one to the other, one to the other. Like we were in our storyline for a couple more beats than I feel like we mm-hmm. would have been, and now we were in theirs for multiple. I don't know. I some, might have been sometimes a time we do it. Passing thing. Yeah. Too. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know either. All right. Hey, who's Curb, that baby. sexy news guy? <laughs> it's Mac. Yes, it's Mac, and he's on the channel, whatever we make it on news. <laughs> right? We're gonna make it on the 
TV. All right, <laughs> here it is. You coin into the building. I think, did you make that song? Yes, you made definitely. that up. Oh, for sure. Definitely. On the spot, right? For sure. You made for that sure. up. That for was sure. like one of those. Yeah, you know, sometimes we start doing a scene and we're like, yeah, it needs something else. Yeah. And we just, for sure. I feel like you funny. can see Rob laughing, but yeah. like trying to make it look like he's wincing yeah. from the that's, massage. That's, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, accurate. Sure. That's accurate. <laughs> Leave you Sorry. guys. I could have been killed. Well, somebody had to save those kittens. Eve. Yeah, they were trapped inside a burning building, Deandra. You set me on fire. We set the building on fire. You just happened to catch on fire. Barely. <laughs> yeah, we put you out. That's right. Barely. Yeah. This is one of the first times we did something a little special effects heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Like, I, I don't know that we'd ever done anything quite that special effects heavy before because obviously she was not on fire. How did we do we just CGI? Yeah. Yeah, I think we just CGI. Which was fine yeah. because we were so far away. Yeah. From the character yeah, that yeah. worked. Hey, what if we set up like a conveyor belt situation, right? Put the cats on that, and then at the end of it, a chopping mechanism. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, let's chop good. cats. No, let's <laughs> chop cats. So I, chop cats. <laughs> I mean, that's me yeah, laughing. That's laughing. <laughs> laughing. Yeah, yeah, just straight up laughing. Just straight up laughing. Yeah, like, wait, no. <laughs> Yeah. Because yeah. that was not scripted. No, no, no. Let's chop cats. Can we watch that? Can you just skip yeah. back 15 seconds and let's oh, just rewatch yeah. that? Let's chop cats. La uh, the and we kept it in. Belt yeah, because right? it's okay for your character to laugh at me. A chopping mechanism. Oh yeah, let's chop cats. No, let's no, 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 chop no. cats. No, we don't actually chop the cats. We the things that aren't working for me just like are like. A couple logic things like, well, why wouldn't Dennis want to be the famous mm -hmm. one? Right. And like her being maybe just like, I think I'm going to be famous just by being in a club. Like just a couple, like a lot is working, but there's like some logic things that I feel like, I don't know, just aren't as good as or as thought out as they could be. I do like the episode. There's lots of big laughs in it. So I'm not shitting on the episode. I'm just saying yeah. that that's where I don't not think. A, not our best. Yeah. Versus the episode. Before the gang sells out, I felt like everything was maybe a more believable motivation mm -hmm. for the characters. Yep. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's all. That was the only difference. Then what are your outfits in these episodes? What? Your outfits in these episodes. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. I think that was like... Like that was, that like was the cool, look. That was like yeah, the cool like the, club, was the club look, look yeah. at the time. Because this was like... Affliction. The, or Ed Hardy Melrose. Ed Hardy, yeah. Yeah, Ed just Hardy anything on the, Melrose Avenue, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, the bottle thing. It, ma it makes me genuinely uncomfortable. End of episode. Pedro could Lopez. also be like the subject matter too is like, not it's like yucky <laughs> in a way. I don't know, like uh, diaper time and shit. Do you guys remember that cable show in New York, New York One, like where it was like news during the day yeah, and yeah. at night it was Robin Bird. Robin Bird. We talked about this, didn't we, on the podcast? I don't yeah. think so. I don't think we talked about Robin Bird. Um, <laughs> so it was like softcore porn. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, it was. Yeah, I, I was a like a lot of like naked. She would have like strippers. She would have flaccid men. Yeah, it was it was both women and men, and they would be. Well, there was men for men. It was men for men, and then women for for whoever and, women for and men. They, they would come and they would basically be <laughs> it was all for men it was all for men it was men oh, for men oh, and women for yeah, men yeah it was all for men men for men and women for men yeah it was all for men there was very and it was, for the women and, and they would do like strip teases yeah. or they would strip yeah there would there wouldn't be any like fornication no but they would do strip but they would no. strip naked and then they then they would plug what strip club they were working at in the city oh really yeah that's, that's what, what the, that's what oh intention really of it was? yeah Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I wonder, is Robin Bird still around? Uh, is she still with us? She was uh, She was already so falling apart. She was it. something else. She was something else. There she was she like had like a, a dominatrix outfit on and she was yeah. got, she had to be in her seventies. Yeah, for those of you out there who don't know, yeah, uh, just just uh, you know maybe just do a quick Google search. It was search. like Google search. Look at some Robin Bird. B Y R D. Was she it was the was it the it Robin Bird? It was the Bird diaper show? time of reality. You yeah. know, like it like and it was Sad. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Not not she's still alive. God still bless. Alive. God bless. She's sixty-five. Oh, get the fuck so out she of was, here. She was, she was in her forties. She was our age. She was in her. She was our age. No, that's when a lie. I first saw. That's a lie. She you was hundred and six. You <laughs> kidding me? She might have just led a rough life, man. Like at forty-five, you know, not everybody. I mean, she was holds doing well softcore do. porn on public access in New York and twenty years ago. The Robin Bird Show in nineteen seventy-seven. That's when it started. 
77. Each episode features Bird in her trademark black crochet bikini and white fingernail polish on an all red set with a large heart shaped neon sign that bears the name of her show. 77. So uh, when I, so I didn't have a TV a lot of the time that I lived in New York. Um, And then it was like a couple of, maybe the last two or three years that I was there in the early 2000s where, where I caught, where I was living in an apartment that had a TV and, and, uh, and I remember, I actually have a very, this is, I, I know I've told you guys this story, so I acknowledge that. But like, uh, the craziest fucking thing I ever saw on New York Public Access TV was, and it was, I was, I remember I was watching this with my, my roommate at the time, one of my roommates, this guy named Darren Petty. And uh, Darren and I were somehow like flipping through the channels. We came across pub, Public Access and it was just a close up of a guy's butt. Just a close up of a, a a butt, not moving, just still, and a hand, just a hand coming into the frame every so often, to dry shave the butt, and then, and, uh, and and it was just it was literally that that was the show, right? Yeah, it was yeah, just yeah, yeah. a That's guy's like butt what, being what, shaved. What public access was now? Sure. Yeah, ba- yeah, basically. Um, now the the part that got interesting though, because Darren and I were like, "What the fuck is this?" You know. But of course, just like almost anything public access, you're like, well, don't change it. Like, let's see what happens. You know what I mean? I want to watch this guy's, let's see where this is headed. Oh yeah, it's weirdly compelling because you're like, what is this? What is this? So the guy's butt's getting shaved. And Darren and I start noticing it's getting closer and closer to the butt crack. And we're like, so now at this point we're invested. We're like, how far is he going to go? Where's the story going? Yeah, where's the story going? How far is he going to get in there, right? So- then the guy opens his butt with his hands and the guy keeps going. And, and the best part is like, again, the butt is like totally still. And as he gets closer to the asshole. Wait, you were seeing the butthole on public access? Or was this some I don't remember DVD if you, could, you stumbled upon? No, no, this is public <laughs> access. I don't think we saw the butthole, but as the, but you know, you could see that that was where the razor was headed. Uh-huh. And the guy was kind of pulling his ass cheeks apart, but I don't think you could actually see the butthole. But you saw the hand get closer and closer to what you know, because you know where the butthole is. So you know Usually, where it's going. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unless Usually. it's an orangutan. Yeah, and then God, yeah, then knows, God knows where it is. The hole is. Uh, but the best part is, as it keeps getting closer, and Darren, by this point, Darren and I are like <laughs> riveted. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're sitting forward in our seat, like it's a fucking action movie. We're like, we're like, Oh my God, he's get, like, well, like he's getting really close to this guy's butthole, and and then you just you just see at a certain point you just see the butt as it gets really close to the butthole. You see the razor, and the and all of a sudden you hear you just hear a guy go ah, and the butt <laughs> just moves a little bit. So you got <laughs> they're like, oh, he nicked his butthole. He nicked his butthole with wow. the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember past that point. Yeah. I think Darren and I turned it off at that point. We're like, I've seen enough. <laughs> yeah. I, there was like a moving. weird song on the Robin Bird show too. It was like. Right. Uh, baby, baby, let, let me bang your box. Wow. Box. wow. Baby, let me bang your box. Oh, I've been reason. banging since I was a little girl. Oh. I've been banging. I was, was a little girl. That's just that's it. Let me bang I've been banging box. since what I was a mean? little girl. Bang baby, let me bang your box. Don't know. Well, boxes. Well, your box genitals. Vaginas, no, your genitals. but well, but the but she was singing it. She was singing it. She was about. Sing- well, she was singing it about herself and saying that she's been banging since she was since a little day, girl. Since she was oh, a little man. girl. See that kind of <sighs> that's upsetting. There was a darkness, <laughs> but there was a, to it. I, there well, was a darkness. Okay, to it, like, wait. Let me play the. Oh, let me play definitely. Devil's Advocate for a second. Okay, let's say this. Is as I joyful think, as the ball guy in Venice Beach. I think. <laughs> I was probably on that show. I think it was super like At sex positive. I think it was yeah. a, it was a strange time in New yes. York, obviously in the seventies and eighties, where there was a lot of sexual repression going on, right? And like in the gay community specifically. Oh, in the gay community, yeah. And like so, you have now you have this show that you can tune into and watch something yeah. that you that you're attracted to mm-hmm. that makes it feel a little bit less yeah weird. I don't know. Yeah, you're into some kinky shit. You're 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 yeah. you're just. But I don't think anybody was like into it. Like very few people were like. Do you remember the scene in the movie Basketball Diaries? Yeah. Where he tries to cheer up his buddy Michael Imperioli. Michael Imperioli is the actor who's got cancer. He's like dying, right? So he takes him to the peep show, and the thing slides up, and the woman's dancing, and then she's like disturbed that he looks sick and he's not enjoying it, and the whole thing is it's a really dark. Yeah. scene 
that, that's what it felt like. That's like what that feels like to me, where it's like, uh, this it, is it, for it, no it one. It was definitely No seedy. one's enjoying that's it. Sure. And people feel like it's like, yeah, there's a, there's a, it's not evil. I'm trying to think about if I was no, I think, I think you nailed that. I think that's right. It, it felt seedy. Yeah. Yeah. So it felt seedy. That's the right. It word. felt lonely. Yeah. I think. Or right, it was like, right, right. It, it was, they felt joyless. I don't ever remember watching it and thinking, well, this is hot. No. <laughs> no. It was no, more it like, was, this is fascinating. This is fascinating. Yeah. Yes. It Baby, was fascinating. Let me bang your box. Well, the, the catchphrase was, I mean, the song was. <laughs> I mean, I remember uh, the song, positive. so I watched enough of it. It was sex positive, as you said. I, I, guys, I got to pee. Okay. Go pee. Right or maybe what he's going to do is, <laughs> is, 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 mas is masturbate because he just got so he's turned so off. aroused by the butthole story. Yeah, like, it's like the fact the that it's so, the butthole, yeah, it wasn't the problem, but it was the butthole story. No, no, it was the butthole and story. it's so it's like, seedy, and that's what he gets off on. He's feeling sex positive. <laughs> he's feeling very positively sexy. So yeah. she came out as bisexual. Later, did in she life. now? Yes. She did. <laughs> oh, really? Thank you, <laughs> yeah. Robin. So, yeah, maybe she was banging boxes. Oh, yeah, she used to. Oh, that was yeah. She she would, the women would dance, and she would like lick them, that she, I don't or recall. pretend to like lick them. Did you guys ever do any public access? Were you ever on public access and or the news when you were before you were on TV? Not that I know of. I don't think so. I used to host a public access show in uh, in Kalamazoo. Really? Like in yeah, college? Yeah, well, I mean, my friends and I in high school as like part of, it was like we got credit for it at school for like a communications class oh, or something. Oh, that's cool. Hosting a call-in show um, in Kalamazoo, Michigan on um, public access. And it was just people calling and it was all live, like broadcast live. And it was just people calling in and every third person would just yell cock. And then like, that was it. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. the show. What was your theme song? There. I don't think, I don't even know if we had a theme song. It was like so low rent, um, but I <laughs> hope that footage doesn't God. exist anywhere. <laughs> Which is why they did it. Yeah. Anyway. Um, <laughs> do we feel as though this was a successful format? I don't know. I think I, I think I it'd be interesting know. to see how it how it would cut together. Well, you know what? I wish it I was let's, have people, let's, let's have people comment yeah. on it. And, yeah. and see if they if they like it. You know, yeah, do you want to see more of these like this, where we watch, where you watch us watch the show, and where you watch the show with us? You know, do you want to see that? Do you like that? You into that? You want more of that? <laughs> Is that your weird thing? Yeah. Well, thing? What kind of creep are you? Your creep? Are you? Are you are <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what did you? Were you sex positive in that bathroom? <laughs> I, I'm not sure I know what that means. I we peed. were wondering if you uh, were so aroused by the butthole story that you just needed a minute in the bathroom. Yeah, give me a second here. I gotta, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, I'm remembering a time where I was more aroused than I've ever been. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm out of juice. I don't know about you guys. No, we got we got more in us, right? Hey, we, we we got, what, what's place. how much how much time have we wasted? <laughs> well, we watched the thing, which took up some time, Thank but you. yeah. Just about done it. Let's see if I have any. I let's 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 dig deep. Let's find something because usually the last minute thing ends up being kind of the best thing. Okay. Let's see if we can dig deep and find something. Okay. I mean, deeper than your butt shaving story. That's pretty good. <laughs> I think that's gonna. I don't know. I Sometimes I feel like play. I tell stories and you guys don't enjoy it as much as I expect you to. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it very much. <laughs> 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 I love that story. I have just a general question about the show for you guys that okay. I've been meaning to ask. How do you guys feel about the fact that the show is like spawned so many memes? Like in the last episode, we were talking about the jobs firing off the job cannon and everything. Like <laughs> right. There are so many memes from the show that it's like almost its own internet language. Uh, yes. I, okay. So, so I've, I've seen a lot of It's Always Sunny memes out there, um, but I didn't know if that was because people were sending them to me because... I'm on the show or if that was because they're really as ubiquitous as as ubiquitous it doesn't as, mean uh, anything to me oh nice <laughs> there you go nice huh? right huh? how about that huh? see how i use the word meme yeah it's memeingless <laughs> god <laughs> fuck off uh, um i don't know i'm, I'm yeah, i don't know i mean i i'm always interested to see what uh what catches on and what doesn't so if i see a meme from something I'm, it, it, it kind of extends into the episodes too where where we make something and we go oh people are really gonna enjoy this one we think that we think that the audience 
our yeah. audience understands us and we'll love it. And maybe it's like a shrug. And then we'll make something and, and think, well, I don't know, that one's fine. And yeah, the biggest example really... that's coming up where we where we put the night, we thought that we completely screwed up that, um, not the Nightman Cometh musical, but the first time we sang the Nightman song. And oh, we cut yeah. that episode together and we hated it so much. Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 that yeah. we just stuck it at the very end. We're like, yes. you know what? The, no, but the meme thing, I mean, it's, um, I mean, I, it's it's cool. I I like it. I mean, I I find it very. Uh, I don't know. I'm pleased that uh, we've made an impact. I see that one of uh, I'm playing both sides, so I always come out on top. People post that like all the time when there's like a news story or something like a <laughs> right. pastor who preaches against homosexuality having like a gay lover. Or yeah, something yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. I don't know what our impact is. It's very hard to feel from the inside right like uh, sometimes yeah. you feel like the show is giant and has reached everyone and then sometimes you feel like no nah, we're we have our sort of niche audience and we sort of exist outside the uh, zeitgeist or mm -hmm. culture in general like i, yeah, I don't and it's, know it's, you know, it's like, both frustrating and also I like so it, it's frustrating at times to to feel like you're not getting sort of wide recognition but at the same time like when I think about most of, most of the artists, you know, actors, bands, musicians that I've liked the most have occupied this same space, you know, a space where it's like they make they make a very specific kind of thing for a certain type of uh, listener or viewer, and it's it's almost like because authenticity is so important to me in in artistry that like, um, it's a sign of authenticity to me. You know, when so it, it it makes me feel like when something's too popular, I I I worry that it's that that they're pandering, mm. you know, and it turns me off. Um, you know, but there are plenty of examples of like huge bands that are some of my favorites of all time, like Pink Floyd and Radiohead. I mean, those bands are huge, but I wouldn't say that they've ever those guys ever pandered. Mm. So I'm going against what I said, but I think the the fear you're for, playing both sides so that you can come so out that I always top. come out on top. Yeah, I was um, yeah, I don't know, but memes, uh, that's like, I don't, like, I don't think about it at all. Do you think about it? I don't think about it. I like to see a good meme. I don't know. I, don't know. I like it. I say it makes me laugh when I'm, I see it. I'm, I'm interested. I'm interested in your posture. I'm tired. No yeah, man. yeah. Are you tired? Oh, oh no. Did you run out of steam? You know, it's like I got to sleep at like midnight, and then the fucking. I mean, we wrote this into the show, but like, the, the there's always something beeping. And one of the fire alarms at my house started just beeping that the oh. battery was low at like five in the morning or whatever. What else has been beeping in your house? The fucking smoke detector. The so fucking... I got to go around, rip the goddamn smoke detector out of the wall. And then I got the wrong one. And then the ladder's missing. You know. <laughs> Big house Can't problems. Find the fucking ladder. Big house problems. Big house problems. <laughs> or small man problems. I got <laughs> um, Small man, big house. Um, I don't know. What yeah. else? What else? I don't know. I listen. I tried. I tried to pull something out of you guys. And <laughs> God bless. Over here. We got this whole thing now. Oh yeah. We got a whole place. Uh, play us out, Charlie. Play us out. Play us out, buddy. Um, what do we wanna? Let's uh, let's write a quick musical about shaving buttholes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what do you think? See if you can figure out Baby Let Me Bang Your Box. Oh, no, I can't remember it. Baby Let Me... No, I don't remember it. Baby, uh, baby Let Me Bang Your Box. You know, baby Let Me like Bang that. Your Box. Baby Let Me Bang Your Box. That's yeah. basically well, it. We, yeah. <laughs> baby Let Me Bang... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it was just like two chords. Robin Bird's gonna come after us for, <laughs> for cash. It's public access. You bitches stole my theme song. <laughs> you know that's how she sounds now, right? Yeah, oh yeah, because yeah, she's for only sure. 40 I don't now. know. I don't know that that's how she sounds, but she I know. She had a TV that's show in 1970 something, but she's only 40 years old. What was it? No, you she's bitches 60. think you could just steal my theme song and get away with it? I wasn't gonna come after you. Well, now she will. Your ass is mine. <laughs> this is New York City, you know. This is New York City. We don't take that shit. Well, actually, if it's I, uh. I, it's Hoboken. Ah. It's a basement in Hoboken. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, let me bang your box. I got this. They shaved my butthole. <laughs> they got too close. They nicked it a little bit. You say it's gross. <laughs> Baby, let me bang your box. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
That's great. Yeah. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.